Hey guys, it's Ability44 here on the What's With RS channel. I did get my hair cut. At the moment, it kind of looks like really, really too good. Um, that's just because I just got it cut and I was like, oh, fuck me. I'm not going to get this shit messed up, you know? <laughs> so I've been really careful. Um, but it'll probably look worse um, as my videos go on because, you know, I have to wash my hair and do all that crazy shit to keep clean. Anyways, let's get on with this RuneScape update. King of the Dwarves quest came out to RuneScape today. It's actually really cool. Um, it's it's a really easy quest. It unlocks new gravestones and a cool new emote. Now, the things that you're actually going to need for this quest is you need 68 mining, 70 smithing, 77 strength, and the ability to defeat a level 160 enemy. So, yeah. Um... In that 160 enemy, um, I heard really wasn't that much of a boss. Like, he could pretty much be swept over with a feather duster. So, yeah. Just be careful if you're a level 3. Um, the quests that need to be done before you actually go to do this quest uh, is Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf and My Big Arm Adventure. Now, whenever I think of My Big Arm's Adventure, I just, I don't know what to, uh, my mind goes blank, and I'm just like, what the fuck are they, I don't know. Anyways, um, the rewards that you can get from this, or that you will get from completing the King of the Dwarves quest is 2 quest points, 45k mining experience, 50k uh, smithing experience, new gravestone options, which I've already said, and a new emote. Now with this new emote, it kind of looks like you're lifting up this huge rock, and then you just kind of drop it. So you're like, oh, fuck that. I'm not lifting it any higher. So, you know, that's pretty much the whole the whole thing. Um, Now, this is pretty much just a, you know, regular RuneScape quest, and you know, it just gives a lot of experience, or, you know, a really good amount of experience for how easy and short it is. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty much all I can really say about the quest, except for, of course, you're looking for the King of the Dwarves, and that's, um, that's pretty much the whole point of the quest. Uh, if I find a good quest guide, I'll make sure to put one in my description. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the 10th year anniversary for RuneScape. Today! RuneScape is now 10 years old, if you want to call it that, or if you want to, you know, name it that way. But RuneScape has been out on the internet for 10 years now, which is really quite impressive, seeing as how the internet's only been here for like 18 years or something, or 20. Cody says 20, I say 18, whatever, it's one of those, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, anyways, RuneScape's now 10 years of age. So, what they're doing is they're actually moving around Party Petey to where his drop parties are going to be in different areas of RuneScape. Now, I did a little bit of, um, you know, searching around and shit, and to find where Party Petey's actually going to be, you can, uh, like, uh, the, the 4th of January is actually already done. You know, it's, 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 you know, it's over. So... Now, this is all BST or GMT time, uh, however you want to say it. Um, the, I'll, I'll leave the forum post in the description, of course, if you don't understand what I'm saying. But on the 5th of January, the clan chat that is actually going to be talked about, the Party PD drop party that's going to be talked about and, um, you know, told where it is, pretty much, is going to be clan chat, clan STP. World at 74 at 2 a.m. GMT, the Jolly Bear Inn. And I'll give, you know, their own personal quick, quick find codes for the RuneScape forums also. So make sure to look in the quick find codes area of my description to find those. And on the 6th of January, you want to join Global, Clan, or Global Chat, World 70 at Narda. Now, they don't really give a time for that, but, you know, you can be in that clan chat on the 6th of January to find out all information about the drop parties. Also, another clan chat that they give in World 11 at 5 p.m. GMT time at Mudskipper Point. You want to join JCH... I'll spell that shit in, a, in an annotation or something, because it's... it's... I don't know, foreign or something. <laughs> Anyways, um... The, yeah, um, 
The other clan that's actually going to take part of this is Sleeping Dragons Clan in World 91 at 9 p.m. G time, 9 p.m. GMT time at Trollum Summoning Obelisk. And the last clan that's actually going to take part of this is Lorex Seuss World 1, 11 p.m. GMT at Varrock Square. Now I will give you know the times, everything like that in the in the description so make sure to just check that out I'll probably link it as 10 or not link it but you know put it in there as 10 year anniversary drop parties there we go and if you don't want to fuck around with the drop parties they actually thought of y'all so you know for anybody who actually doesn't want to deal with all that clan chat shit you can actually go to the original parts of RuneScape, like you know, Lumbridge, Varrock, um, Falador wasn't created, so don't don't go all the way over to Falador. Um, but yeah, all the original parts of Varrock and kill whatever monster, or all the original parts of RuneScape, and kill whatever monsters you want, and they will drop like candles and cakes. When you have 10 candles, you can put all 10 candles on a cake, and then you will receive the 10-year anniversary cake. And that will be your holiday item for, you know, the 10-year anniversary of RuneScape being out. And you can destroy that and get it back whenever you want. You won't have to kill anything else for any more candles, and, you know, it's it's pretty simple to get the candles and the cake. So, they... They really pulled through on that one. Um, in the other news, or another thing in the other news, if you find yourself poisoned, you can click on your life points area. If you are on Lunars and have the correct spells and magic level for cure yourself. Like, you can cure yourself by just clicking on your life points meter if you have, you know, the runes and the magic level and you're on the Lunar book. So, yeah, that's that was pretty nice. Um, and the Christmas 2010 event has been removed from RuneScape. So, that's all the updates for this RuneScape update, and thank you for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope it was informational for y'all. And I hope my fucking squeaky-ass fucking chair didn't get too annoying. But this one's starting to squeak again, and, you know, this one's starting to, like, really squeak hard fucking core. There it goes. Did y'all hear that? Probably not, because I was blurting shit out. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. That's the end of this video, and I will be coming at y'all with another update video in the near future. So thank you again for watching.